Hi, this is Patty and welcome back to our dashboard training. Today we're going to be going through our playlist pages. We're going to be scheduling our slides within a playlist. And why would you want to do that? Well, you might have an event that you want to feature. And of course, it's going to have a start time and a stop time. So you want to schedule certain slides within that time frame. Maybe you're going on vacation and you want to get your work done ahead of time and get your playlists all ready to go. You can schedule those to play while you're on vacation. Maybe you're only open certain days and times during the week for business. This way you can schedule certain slides to play or your whole playlist to play at a certain time. So it's very beneficial for you. So we're going to go right into our, into our playlist right now. And I'm going to choose the very first slide. And instead of going into edit, we want to go into settings. And under the settings, it'll say limit the moments of playback for this page. We're going to click on that check mark. And you'll notice that it has um, from what date through to what date. We can pick our days of the week and we can also pick our time. So we are going to let this first slide play every day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Now, my business is open 8 a.m. till 7 p.m. So I want it to play every day, but not Saturday and Sunday. So I'm gonna click OK. And you'll notice there's a green clock on the top of that slide. And if you hover over that clock, you'll notice the schedule pops up. That's really nice because then you don't have to go into every setting and figure out what you, what you just did. The next scheduler I'd like to do is two different times. So we have our Friday fish fry. I also made a weekly lunch menu and I'm going to pull that into our menu is into our playlist as well. So our weekly lunch, we're going to have that play every day. So we're not going to pick from what time to what time, but we're going to have it play Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And we're going to click between our lunch time is going to be 11 a.m. And we'll go to 3 p.m. And we'll click OK. Now, right now, for me, it's 1 o'clock in the afternoon, so it's going to stay green. So this weekly lunch is going to be active. But let's go on to our fish fry, and we're going to pick our Monday through Friday, and we're going to have this start at three o'clock in the afternoon in the afternoon and we're going to end it at 7 p.m. and click OK. And you'll notice the clock turned orange. Now the reason why it turns orange is because it's within my date frame. So it's going to play today, but it's not going to play yet. It's going to start at three o'clock this afternoon. So the orange actually falls within the date range, but not within the right weekday or not the right time. The next slide I'm going to choose is our Let's Get Social. Go into our settings. And I want this to play on the 1st of February. And I want it to play all the way through February 28th. And I want it to play Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. But we're still going to pick 8 a.m. until 7 p.m. and click OK. Now this clock is black. And black is always a future dated slide. So it's not going to play at all until February 1st. 
Our next clock is a gray clock. And I'm just going to show you down here, the shop online is gray. And what gray means is that it has been an expired slide. So let's go in and look at the dates. We'll go into our setting. And this was set to play on January 18th till the 25th every single day. Well, today is January 26th, so we're past our time. So it's going to be gray. The nice thing is it can stay in the playlist. Um, maybe if you're on vacation and they expire, your slides expire, they can stay in the playlist, but they're not going to play. Until you get back, then you can just take them out. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put these slides close to one another so you can see how they look. Now, if we go by the way the clock goes, we should be able to see our first slide. It'll skip our second, our third, and our fourth, but then we'll get to our weekly lunch menu, and then it will play the rest of our playlist. So let's preview. Okay, so there's our trust is the key that's scheduled to play now. And there's our weekly lunch menu. So it skipped those other ones that were either expired or future dated. And now the rest of our playlist will play. The Friday fish fry will actually play at three o'clock this afternoon. Okay, let's just do something a little bit different just so I can show you how this works. You can pull in another slide. We're going to pull in a weekly lunch menu. You'll know right away our program already knows that it's slide. Um, it's already scheduled to play, but I want this one to play at a later date. So I'm going to change the settings in this slide and I'm going to give it that one a future date. And we'll also pick February 1st, and we'll go through February 28th, and I'm going to have it play every single day here, but it's going to now play in the future, so let's click OK. And you'll see that weekly lunch menu is now black. So even though I have a weekly lunch menu, there are, there are duplicate slides, I'm able to change the second slide, however I wish. That's because the system, the, the software remembers the last time you make the change. Okay, so what I did was I just kind of put together um, for, your, for your reference, a little color coding here. So the green, the playlist or the page, is eligible to be shown. So it's current, it's ready to play. The orange just means that it falls within the current date range, but it does not fall in the right weekday or the right time slot. And that is our um, Friday fish fry. Our black is shown in future, which our social is set for February, and so is our our second weekly lunch menu, and our gray is because it's already expired and passed. So you can use this as a reference out as well. So that takes care of our scheduling. Um, I did mention before you cannot schedule foregrounds. Once they're in um, the front here, they're just going to play over every slide. Um, and that should take care of all your scheduling. Stay tuned for our next section. We're going to be going into our channels and discussing how we can build the actual channels that play in your display.